Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to do dynamic dependent select box using jQuery, Ajax, PHP and MISC. Dependent select box when a selection is made on a parent box it allow to refresh the child box list data. In this post I had given a database relationship example between country and province. It is very simple jQuery code hope you like this. In this code loading records from database dynamically and display it in select box without refreshing the whole page with the help of Ajax and jQuery and PHP code. Ajax is used to submit and get records from MISCAL database without page refresh. Now I define new complete code. Friends I have used two table name country and state. In country table there is two column. One is country at which primary key and its value is auto increment and second column is country name and which I store country name. In state table there is three column. One is state at which is primary key and its value is auto increment. Second is country at which foreign key of country table and it relate to country at column of country table and last column is state name in which I store state name. Hello friends this is my simple html page. In this page I have attached jQuery file in this page. Friends first I make one php function named load country for loading complete list of country into select box. In this function I have make database connection. After making database connection I define one variable output for storing html data for return value of function. Now I make sql query for fetch data from country with order by country name. It means it load country name in alphabetic order. Friends after making sql query I execute this query by miscle query function and store in result variable. Now I use while loop for fetching all data from country table by using miscle fetch array function. In while loop I store all fetching HTML data like country and country name store into output variable using concatenation function. And lastly return this output variable. After making load country PHP function now I move to HTML code. In HTML code first I define select box with name country and it country. In the select box first I define blank option value in text select country. Now I call a bar PHP function for load country into the select box. Now friends I define other select box with name state and it state. In the select box I define option with blank value in text is select state. Friends now I write jQuery code for fetching state name from database using Ajax. I write jQuery code on country select box with attributed on change jQuery event. In this first jQuery code first define one variable country and for store country read. Here I get country read with the help of selector and value method. Now friends I write Ajax function for fetch selected country state name. In this function first parameter result, I define fetch state.php. Second parameter is method. I use post method. Third is form data. Here is only one data county at which I already define. Fourth is data type. I use text data type. And lastly is success which is output of Ajax function with state list of selected country. I simply append into state select box with HTML jQuery method. After jQuery Ajax code, I create one PHP page with name fetch state.php and make database connection into it. After making database connection, I define one variable named output for display state list of selected country. Now friends I make one SQL query for select state list of selected country with the help of country at which I post into Ajax function data.
Now I execute this query by using miscle query function and store into one result variable. Now I store some HTML code like blank option value with text select state into output variable. Now I use while you open fetch all selected country state list by using miscle fetch array function. In this loop I store all HTML output like option with a value like stated and text like state name into output variable by using concatenation operator. After all these things I simply use echo statement print this output variable. This all output will see into state select box with stated attribute. Now we see output. So, when I change country select box and select country, then at that time in state select box it loads selected country state list without page refresh. Thank you for watching this video. You can also subscribe my YouTube channel. Or you can also like my Facebook page. Or you can also follow me on Twitter.